hello guys good evening good morning good afternoon welcome to my youtube channel please if this is your first time of watching my video please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will get notification once i post other interesting videos please and if you've been watching my video and you are yet to subscribe please do thank you okay these are all the the stuff i'll be using to make this hairband I'm using different kind of bead. I'm using size six and size four, four bead. And then I put some golden beads there just to, just to play around with it. Okay, I'm trading my needle now. I'm using a fishing line. I'm using a uh, hundred, hundred size hundred. That's what I'm using for this work. I'm using size 100 you can see it's difficult sometimes you can bite it so that it will be able to enter through the needle so my work is started if you are getting please get the bead of your choice get the color of your choice you can even get the size of your choice i'm using size six and four because i don't want it very um i don't want it very loud i want it very very um calm looking because i'm still going to use some flowers on then so i trade my needle i pass it through the back so i'm tying it behind no we know the place i'm bidding i'm tying it behind so at every point in time your trade is uh, you exhaust your fishing line use the same process you bid it and tie it behind the back is going to look very rough after this work is finished so work has started after tying behind, I pass the needle back to the front. Yes. So I'm starting the work. I'm starting the work now. So since I'm beading the front, so I pass my needle back to the front. I'm using the size six down, then size four up. So if I'm using a golden uh, size six, I'm using uh, I'm using the the other color. Is that gold? Is okay. The lighter gold. I'm using it down. So I'm missing it like that, like that. The way you feel it will come at night, just miss it. So in this place, I'm using the lemon bead down, the golden up. So if I'm using the golden down, I'm using the lemon up, just for it to come out very beautiful and nice. You can try multiple color. It's also very beautiful. You can try multiple color. I decided to use this because I actually love gold a lot. I like golden color. So I'm using this. This will not. This will go with so many, so many clothes, so many out outfits. So I'm making this color. So what I started, you put the bead, the big bead down, the size six down. Then the size four up. Then you see the way it is. You pass the needle, yes, through the size six alone. Through the size six alone, you pass the bead through the size six alone. So you're not passing the bead on the size four the, uh, the second time. So you're passing it through the size six alone. In that way, then you pass it through the the head uh, the board I'm I'm working on. Same process, please, if you don't understand, always drop your comment. I will attend to them. You pass it back, you bring it back to the front. You bring it to the front. Okay. Same process, continue. The big bead. Okay, I want to use a little bit of the golden because I don't want it to be too uniform. I'm supposed to use like four bead. That was my intention. Four different colors. But I just let me go with two colors. But I'll still put the gold maybe in two or three places. So you're passing the bead through the one under. Under. Yes. Take it through the board. Yes. Bring it out. When you drag it and it's standing okay, standing firm. You see the way I'm doing it? When you drag it and it's standing thing, take your needle. By then, your needle is at the back. Your needle is at the back of the board. So take it. 
yes pierce it and take it to the front to start your work again because if you do it that way if you if you continue at the back meaning you are beating the back not the front anymore so you pass your needle to the front and continue your work Those take a lot of time, so get prepared when you're doing it. Get ready to work, to work is a lot of work, but you will see the results is, when it comes out, you will like it, you know that it's what the, the strength you use in making it. So I believe with this we understand it, let's not make the video too lengthy. So we continue with other procedure now. Yes, yeah, see, the whole work is done. This is the two embellishment, or will I call it? This is the flower I'm using. So I'm going to bend the the stuff behind the um the iron. I bend it behind. Some people use gum, strictly gum. They don't use needle, but for this stuff to stand where you need to use needle and fishing line to tack it. So this, I pass my needle through the through the board so the fishing line the other end is at the back while the other the first one is at the front so i'm bringing boats to the back so you see the boat fishing line both the needle and the other end is at the back now i will tie it i'm tying it behind after tying it work continue you see that back is very rough <laughs> after i finish the back is very rough after I finish beading everything. You can see. So we'll do something to that back later when the work is done. So we are tacking the flowers on them now. So you can see. The flower, the the other rows, the 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 smaller rows on the head is actually very thick. So we are not tacking that one, we are not taking that one along. We are attacking just the flat ones. You see where my needle stopped? You see where my needle stopped? I separate them. So this is where we are attacking alone. Yeah, this is the only place we are attacking. The other parts, at the end of the day, we use gum to put them together. So we are attacking only the soft parts. You can use a bigger needle. <laughs> the needle is actually very painful. My hands are hurting me. So you can use a bigger needle for your work to be faster. But I choose to work with a small needle. So we are tucking the other part down. If you not see this needle again, just know that it's inside my mouth. I'm using my teeth to pull it. <laughs> We not see just know that it has entered my mouth. Uh, okay. Um I'm using my teeth to pull it. It's so strong. You know, after the 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 stuff is already beaded and everything is strong. So you need energy. But if it is a bigger needle, it won't give you stress. So we are putting okay. Let's tack it a little bit, I think. Because the other place is still loose. The back is rough because of so much work there. It's really very strong. Oh. <laughs> so after tacking it, I'm looking for my needle. The needle is a very tiny one. It's the smallest needle. Okay, some persons will ask, what's the size of your needle? Because the last video I made, some persons were asking, what's the size of your needle? Please, work with the needle. You you know that it will be okay for you. So we are gumming this part now. The other part, the hard part, we are gumming it now because we do not use needle for that. So use the size of the needle you feel is okay for your work. Everything is flexible flexible use the size of the bead you want use the size of anything you want just create something create it you can watch my video and create something different you can use the pattern but just 
be innovative create whatever you feel it will come out nice you know your target customers what you feel okay this is what we buy quick for you use it so we are all done left with one um um embellishment or what we like call it sorry okay left with this so this had just one one um uh wire so i'm going to pass you through the under you know the the flat roses the roses has iron also wire so i'm tacking it this is the wire it actually after i did this it actually stand firm but if you feel you can stitch yours you can do it if you want to remove the wire and use gum whichever way you think it will work for you fine but i'm using this wire i'm 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 tacking the wire with the other rows down there so this is what i'll be doing and after after i did it i know it stand it will stand firm and it's not going to pull off easily so i'm um, sorry the camera is a little bit shift from what uh, from what i'm doing so i'm sorry for that but in case you don't understand what is going on there drop your comments i will attend to it are you attend to it oh, oh sorry actually i'm trying to tag the other butterfly design so you can see but the flag design is all done so i'm going to check out my work whichever thing is left to be done i'll do it if it need gum i'll put gum just to make everything come out neatly it should come out like a factory work please <laughs> everything should come out like a factory work so there's a little bit of there's a little opening there so i'm using gum to close them fill them up so after this um i'll be doing something i'll be covering those fishing line behind i'll be covering the fishing line behind so you know the colors of the material I use please i'm not going to use this what i'm using is called gum stain gum stain i'm using a gum stain i'm supposed to get the color of this um uh, um bead but i don't have it at home but for the sake of this video i'm going to use this but i'm not going to attach it i will not attach it to my work but i'm going to show you on how to do it so you place the your work on the on the gum stain then trim neatly you trim neatly you can even do this before you start beading you can do this before you start beading so that your you know mistakenly cut the fishing line of the bead you've already made so my cutting is not very neat i'm not a tailor <laughs> so i'm going to fold then like a cone i'll fold it then trim again i'm going to fold it in a cone shape and trim Sorry, the camera is not concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm sorry for that. So what I did, I fold it. I fold it to a cone shape and trim. Oh, so sorry for this. So I fold it into four, into four, that right here, to a cone shape, then I trim. So you apply your gum, please apply enough gum, 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 sorry, <laughs> apply enough gum and place this on it. Then the edge, you fold like this, you fold, apply your gum and make it come out neatly. Then you need an Alice band for this thing to stay on the head very well. So after you fix this, you're supposed to use the color the alice band should be the same color of what you're doing but i don't have it at home for the sake of the video i'm just illustrating this way so you apply gum on the on the gum stain 
then place your alice band on it when you place your alice band put enough gum you can use something like this you can use something like this or you use the gum stain the gum stain yes you use the gum stain cut it to the shape you want and place it like this yes when you place it like this you apply gum on your alice band place the gum stain apply gum make it come out neatly so if you're making it for your company or whichever way you can put your tag to co cover the space of the space you put the gum stain you can put it like maybe your tag carrying penny collection you can put it so now my work is done this is the end product it's actually beautiful this 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 beautiful for all occasion and with this any customer getting this they are rest assured of um of of it serving them for a long time because these are these are crystal bead i use crystal bead so they are not going to fade up thank you for watching my video i appreciate